let you out here so your mother doesn't see us. Thanks. It's all right. I don't think she approves of me. She doesn't. Mary Rose, I know a lot of people around here. Nothing happens on this hill that I don't find out about eventually. If you ever try to buy so much as a cigarette, you don't want to know what I'll do. You understand? Okay. Did that go? Hey, Michael, what'll it be? Water. Expect any special treatment from you. Your job's your job. You gotta do what you gotta do. I understand that. I respect that. Just because I did you guys a favor, I'll never ask for anything in return. As far as I'm concerned, we're even. No silence is argument carried out by other means. Mary, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hey, Mike? Mike? What? There's somebody here to see you. Mary Rose, what you doing here? You should be in school. School's boring. Of course it's boring. It's school. It's important. You gotta learn. I'd rather hang out with you. you Wanna hang with me? I don't think so. Come on. Get to school for the catch playing hooky. Come on, let's move. You have nothing to do after school. When you come back, you can work the cash register. I'll teach you something about people. All right? Okay. You know what, Daddy's not gonna like that. Fucking register. Hey, Clarence. How was your meeting? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. You doing what they tell you? Yeah, I own the program. Good. Clarence, your boy upstairs. Projector don't run itself. You might want to knock first. He's liable to be pulling it to one of his porno mags. <laughs> you know, he's still got a real nice place to watch a movie here. Roof leaks, foundation shot. Some kids slashed a half dozen seats the other night. Local kids? Who can tell anymore? It's not like it used to be. Yeah. What is? Girls' asses. The beauty of a girl's ass hasn't changed in a thousand years. <laughs> he said it. You guys don't knock? You could have been whacking off. You know, I like this flick. You should show more family stuff. Sure. We'll get Benji the hunted for you and the three dinks down there who bought tickets. Sounds like the beginning of an excuse. Come on, please, I know I'm late on the vigorous. Four weeks late. You got it? I can't 
can't go to the hospital. I got a changeover soon. It's just business, Jerry. So I loaned you 20K to renovate. Because I remember when the uptown was a jewel instead of this shithole. But did you even buy a bigger popcorn machine? Blew it on hookers and crank, you piece of shit. You think I wouldn't find out? I fucked him up pretty good, Mike. I think he's gonna puke. All right, as of now, I own half this deal. Because I love it like I do. I gotta do whatever it takes to save it from the wrecking ball. What? Look at this place. Yeah. Fall in the pot. You know, you asked me to meet you. Here, here I am. Um, see the butchers? Where's the way the market's place? It's closed. No, oh, people like buying their meat at a supermarket. I remember when that street was swallowed with people. Saturday, families out there shopping. Saturday night, all coming here. Remember me sneaking you in to see Gary? Shower scene? You never seen Ted's before. I was eight. You stole him. Talking to Clarence. He says if they don't get money to renovate, this place is gonna close down. I thought maybe you, you were supposed to meet, could do something. I mean, landmark the building and put on the Arts Council. I don't know, something. What's in it for you? I always gotta have an angle. Always. Why you gotta be such a hot ass? I know how you feel about this place. Same as me. It's the only escape we have when mom and dad were wailing on each other. All right, look. Clarence's son, Jerry, is into one of Freddy's bookies for like a grand and a half. It's nothing. I'll take care of the tab myself. It's not what this is about. This place, Tommy, is special. Well, it's the only good memories I got from childhood. From our childhood, you know? Fuck it. <sighs> Let it die, right? Just a pile of bricks. See you around, Clarence. Good night, gentlemen. Mike, hey, let's go for a drive. It's, uh... Oh, uh, what time is it? 10.30. I want to go for a drive. Then we go to Newport, break into that mansion Bobby J was talking about. You still got the alarm codes? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, we don't have a, f a fence for the antiques, do we? So we can't sell, we'll burn for firewood. What the fuck's wrong with you? Nothing. Open the door. Why? Open the fucking door. What's just been going on? I, I was just locking up the store the other night, and I fucking... It was a fuck all of a day, Mike. I, I just grabbed a case of beer. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? I'm sorry, Mike. I, you want to cry now? No. Huh? I'm gonna fucking beat you like a dog that pissed on the rug. Is that what you want? Beating's not gonna stop you drinking. Get up. Get up. 
give me the chip. Huh? No, I'm not going to give you the chip. Give me the fucking chip. Where is it? Well, hold on, hold on. Like, just... Mike, it's my two-year chip. Can I just... Are you two years old? Are you? No. All right. Peter, look at me. You're my friend, and I love you. So you have two choices. You get back in the program, start over, do whatever it takes. I keep drinking. And when you fuck home, I'll have to kill you and bury you under the freeway. I'm sorry. But... It's okay. I know I fucked up. It's okay. I'm with you. <laughs> Two years. Sober. I used to like saying that. Two years. It was so easy. I just... Just took a... can of beer. Had a drink, and 30 hours later, I was still fucking drinking. <laughs> but then a friend came by my house, and he helped me stop. That was three days ago. I'm three days sober. It sucks. <laughs> but at least I can... At least I can say three days. Thanks. Hey, Tommy! How you doing? Hey, kiddo. Settle an argument first. Warren Hutton, Jacqueline Bissett. Who? Since the day he married Eileen, he hasn't looked at another woman. So I came to uh, talk to Jerry about reserving a block of seats for VIPs with the mayor. And... Yeah, Jerry's upstairs, so I'll get him. Uh, get him to wash his hands before he comes down. What are you doing here? He's dropping off boots for the fundraiser. How much are you charging? Or is it a donation? What do you think? <laughs> you swapped the labels. Hey, hey. So? Some people order top shelf. They get a rock cut. Save me $500, all of which I'm giving to the theater. You charging for top shelf? I'm not fucking charging. Come on, don't you trust me at all? No. no I love you, but no. So why are you putting your balls on the line to save this place? Because it needs saving. Oh, the great martyr, St. Thomas of Carpenter Street. Shh. Haven't I been good? I mean, did you see me at your press thing? I just want to do what I can to help. Tell you what, I'll skip the fundraiser altogether. I want to go, but I won't even come. If that's what you want, I just want to go right. I'll think about it. Jerry. Ooh, how's the hand? Still hurts like a bitch. <laughs> Fucking car doors. Yeah. 